More rain in the forecast for select parts of the nation, while some are under heat wave warnings. Amid the unusual weather, the government is weighing options to help damaged areas recover. Kim Sung Min tells us more. A three day weekend is about to begin in South Korea this Saturday, but yet another bout of heavy rain is expected to drench many parts of the country. The Korea Meteorological Administration on Thursday said around 300 millimeters of rain is forecasted for the Seoul capital region and some parts of Chungcheongbuk-do province. These areas are now under pre heavy rain alerts. With parts of North Korea also expecting more rain, this could raise the water level of Han River in the following days. The KMA explained that while the North Pacific High has pushed the monsoonal front off for the past few days, the cold air from the north came down again to cause more rain. The monsoon is expected to last until Sunday, August 16th. Meanwhile, heat wave warnings have been issued in some parts of the south. The city of Daegu and the surrounding Gyeongsangbuk-do province are expected to see temperatures reach as high as 36 degrees Celsius on Friday and Jeju Island 33 degrees. This year's unusual weather has caused a lot of damage, and the government is looking at more options to deal with the situation. South Korean President Moon Jae-in on Thursday designated 11 additional areas as special disaster zones. This second round of designations come after the Interior Ministry inspected the damage in flood-hit areas in advance of local governments asking for the designation. The administration will respond quickly to people that have been affected. Now, a total of 18 regions, including parts of Jeollado and Gyeongsangnam-do provinces, will receive financial aid as well as support for restoration work. The government is also considering further support for those areas that are in need but have not yet been designated as disaster zones. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.